really bro. It, it's a little like rain right now, heavy wind, but I'm gonna just keep it above, man. It, that's that where it's at, man. Yeah, I gonna say y'all right in the middle of it. The eye gonna hit. The eyes hitting Tampa from what the, the map shows right now. Man, bro, my heart, bro. I, I'm scared, man. And then we still, we still recovering from Helene. And it's like, bro, I'm, I want to get this off my chest, bro. This government is playing in our faces, man. It don't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. They playing in our faces, bro. You get Ukraine come over here, they get what they want. You get immigrants come over here, they get what they want. And you got people being denied these FEMA applications that you talking about the other day, Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. People being denied, bro. But you getting these migrants coming over here, $10,000 food stamps, bro. Fuck your goddamn $5,000 cash stipends, man. Mm -hmm. This shit hurting, bro. We, we, better, we better get ready to damn near die, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of people couldn't afford to evacuate. And this government planning our fucking face, man. I, I, I totally understand, my brother. Absolutely. It don't matter what they is. Democrat, Republican, they all treason, man. They all about money, bro. None of these people care about American people, bro. It shit hurt, bro. Yo, man. All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahah, Hakutash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and uh, Yahweh Shai is the name of His beloved Son. Uh, you know, I want to give double honors unto my apostles, the elders are great Muslim that rule well, and uh, peace, love, mercy, and salutations to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect, which uh, consists of men, women, and children who believe in our Lord Yahab Hashem Al Shai. Now, uh, you know, I just want to do a very quick uh, video here on this. Uh, you know topic in which you just uh, heard uh, You know and it's currently playing in the background of this Jake uh, who's mourning, you know, he called in um, You know at the breakfast club show uh, with uh, Charlemagne and uh, he's uh, complaining Okay, he's mourning saying that they don't care about us, uh, you know the government um, And you know he has some truth You see but the thing is that you know the prophets have been out there telling y'all this for all these years. You see, and the scriptures talk about what? That Israel has not obtained that which is secret for, but the election have, have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. So you got some Jake out there who, even though they've been told that these things were going to happen, because this is a part of Jacob's trouble. This man is mourning. You see? But this is, you know, the issue when you trust in Egypt. The scripture says, Woe unto you that go down to Egypt for help. And you did not, what, you know, you did not, you know, ask for the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And so when Jacob's trouble hits, you're going to hear a lot more of this, man. And you're already hearing about it, but it's actually, you know, it's going to come to fruition. A lot of people are going to feel that fire, man. Okay? And here's the thing. Again, they've been told. They've been told for all these years but they don't want to seek after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai so guess what your trust your faith you know now you're depending on the government to help you when we've been saying hey man the government don't care about you and the scriptures even say that all right in the book of uh, Jeremiah it says you know um let me see if I can find it here real quick okay give me one sec Okay, in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 5, it says, For who shall have pity on thee, O Jerusalem? Why? Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a, before it's a place, right? So this Jerusalem is talking about what? The Israelites. All right? The Israelites that are, you know, in captivity, you know, that are, you know, um, in America, you know, primarily you so-called Negroes, Latinos, you so-called Native American Indians. All right, the scriptures is saying, Who shall be moaned thee? Okay? Who's going to have pity upon you? Nobody, because, you know, that's what that Jake said. They don't care about us, and he's crying. Well, no shit. For all these years, they don't care about you. Okay? How much more evident, you know, do they have, you know, do they, do they have to make it? Okay? They brought our asses over here for slavery and so on and so forth. Okay? Salakia. Let me turn, you know, this off here real quick. So the scripture says right here. The scripture says, 
For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? You see that? Because that's what that Jake said. They don't care about us. Yeah, that's what the scripture says. Nobody cares about y'all, man. Nobody cares about us. Okay? Except if you be a man of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, then the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, cares about you. And if you be on the good side of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, guess what? You are going to go through some you know, tribulations, etc. But you're going to come out of it. Why? Because you have faith in the Lord, not in the, in, you know, not in the government. Okay? So at the end of the day, you see, Jake is crying because ultimately he doesn't have the truth. That you can't put your trust in Egypt. All right, and let's get that precept. All right, the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay? The word woe means destruction. Okay, terrible time. All right? Death. All right, famine. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay, America is the modern day Egypt. All right? Our people were in slavery in Egypt, and guess what? They're in slavery again in this Egypt, which is America, all right? It's not by coincidence, all right? America, you know, resembles a lot of the stuff that happened back in Egypt, okay? And it says right here, and, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Who's who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now they seek the Lord. Okay? So at the end of the day, it don't matter, okay, you know, how uh, strong this government is. Okay? It doesn't matter, you know, uh, what possessions, okay, you know, they have, they hold. The scriptures is saying what? That if you don't trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, your end is not going to be well. Okay? And then another precept right here is in the book of um second Ezra, all right chapter 15 verse uh 12 it says egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten you see because this jake was uh mourning uh you know due to the fact that you know uh the hurricane all right was uh you know destroying all right as it should okay and you know a lot of uh people are saying that that was done by design which most likely it was, okay, you know, through that harp device, okay, Esau is manipulating, you know, with the elements, uh, you know, and tampering, okay, uh, you know, with the, uh, you know, weather to bring forth chaos in certain places as he will. But ultimately, who's controlling Esau, Edom? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So the scriptures is saying what? That Egypt shall mourn America. Is going to you know mourn when you look at the infrastructure of America, it's one of the worst in the whole goddamn world, man. Okay, and it says, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plagues and punishment that Yahweh Bashim al Shai shall bring upon it. So even though Esau okay has a hand okay through his devices, guess who gave Esau that technology? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is the one that's, that's destroying the foundation. But guess what's gonna happen? A lot more is going to happen, but when the foundation is destroyed, guess what? The people are the ones who are going to, you know, uh, be impacted the most. Okay? And it says, they shall till, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful consolation. And that's exactly what that hurricane had done and is doing and will be doing even more. Because the Lord Yahab Hashem is not done with this place, man. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand, man. Okay, so all these things are getting ready to happen, and it's going to happen more and more and more. And for all these people who depend on the government, who depend on Esau Edom, okay, who you know trust in their horses, you know trust in their own sword, okay, you know the power of their own hand. Guess what? If you don't trust in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, your end is not going to be great. Okay, your end is, you know, the ways of death and that's it. Okay, and so at the end of the day, you know, this Jake, as you know, is, you know, here mourning. Okay, but guess what, man? Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will protect the elect. Okay, through all of this. Okay, we're not going to, you know, uh, complain and, you know, talk about the government, this and that. No, man, fuck the government, man. We don't care. Okay, we, 
know and we understand that it's going to be done through divine and divine intervention is how we will be delivered, man. Okay. And so the water to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, okay, for showing us, okay, what is going on, what will happen, and how we're going to keep our mind stable because wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times, man. All right, with that, Shalom, Yahweh Hashem Shai, Barakatah.